Welcome back, everyone. We come together to continue our reflection uh, on our sacred scriptures that lead us in our Lenten journey. As we do so, we, we perhaps reflect today a little bit on uh, something that's going to be a little bit negative for us. Okay? Yesterday, we had all of the comfort, encouragement, and support from our union with Jesus that we discovered uh, and how we were called to deepen that. But as we deepen it, uh, one of the ways we have to do it is to look to see where in our life there might be some confrontation, where in our life there may be some hostility, where in our life there might be some uh, refusal to honor the dignity and reverence the lives of other people. That's a very important question for us. In our gospel, we, our, our first reading, rather, uh, we have, uh, you know, Israel turning their back on God, creating an idol, worshiping the idol, and God kind of losing it, getting really so angry, he's ready to destroy them all. And Moses has to beg him to avoid the reputation of being a God who carried these people out of Egypt only to kill them. And he finally gets God to allow the people of Israel to turn around and make a change. But it was a difficult, difficult moment for Moses. Uh, in the gospel, uh, Jesus is having uh, some kind of a confrontation with the, with the leaders of the Jews and uh, he's doing all of the things that the Father wants him to do. He's making the blind see, he's making the deaf hear, he's making the dumb speak, he's cleansing lepers, he's healing cripples, he's even bringing the, the dead back to life. These are the works of the Father that Jesus is, is doing in order to manifest and announce the arrival of the kingdom of God, the arrival of God's favor in life, the arrival of the fulfillment of the promise of salvation. This is what Jesus is up to with these works that he's doing, and they just cannot see it. They cannot allow the works Jesus is doing to penetrate the hardness of their heart, to penetrate the walls of tradition that they've erected in their minds. They can't let them in. And Jesus is becoming very frustrated with it, and tension is going to keep growing. So we have those moments in life, too, when we find ourselves, perhaps, in tension. It might be some way that we're creating a routine in our life that refuses to recognize the dignity of another person, refuses to reverence another person's worth, refers, refuses to uh, forgive in a family situation, uh, refuse to uh, allow people to keep growing according to the mind and heart of God in their lives. We put people down. If we do that kind of thing, uh, that's the sort of thing that uh, creates these tensions that have to be resolved. How do they get resolved? We have to do something uh, in order to uh, minimize those maybe negative, destructive routines of our lives and maximize the call to holiness we receive uh, according uh, to the mind and heart of Jesus, according to the values of the Beatitudes. Finding ways to live more lovingly with everyone, no matter who they are. That's our goal in the pathway of holiness.